I'm Louise Price, I'm the curator at George Marshall Medical Museum and we have a fantastic collection of 10 death masks of executed criminals. Our collection of death masks were found in the basement of Worcester Royal Infirmary by the former curator of the museum, George Marshall, who was then honorary consultant at the hospital. The masks made their way from the basement at Worcester Royal Infirmary via George Marshall's son's bedroom to this museum where they've been on display for visitors ever since. We recently held a fascinating event where um, someone came to talk about the science of phrenology and then someone else tried to see if they could establish which of the faces of our death masks was which criminal. Mr George Marshall was not only a general practitioner in Worcester, he was also an honorary consultant surgeon after the formation of the NHS in 1948 and he joked that he knew everyone in Worcester inside and out. My job now is to look after all of George Marshall's collection, which is fascinating, which includes not only the death masks, we also have the original operating table from Worcester Infirmary and the original amputation chair from Silver Street Infirmary, the very first hospital in Worcester. I absolutely love the death masks. We always include them in a tour of the museum whenever we get someone to visit. They're always the first thing we show them. They're outside of the door to the museum, so you don't even have to come in to see them. And I love them because in the early 1800s, before photography, the only portraits you'll have are of rich people, royalty, politicians, and actually these guys, you can stare them right in the eyes and see what they would have looked like. Since we found the death, well, since George Marshall found the death masks in the basement of a Worcester infirmary, um, we've kept them pretty well since then, so my job is to keep them for another 50, 60, 70 years for the future, and we really hope to be able to do more research into them to actually see if we can pinpoint who the people are in the faces.